Can you hear anything? Yeah. You can hear me? Yes. Oh, I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, try going, do you see like, is down in the left hand side of your screen, is there like a mute option thing down there? Is there a little arrow that goes up? See that little arrow right next to the mute thing? If you click on that and kind of go up, they have several microphone, there should be like a few microphone options. At the very top it says select a microphone. Maybe just try several of those. Is it working? Can't hear you yet. <laughs> okay, how about now? Huh. Yeah, just keep trying di set different, uh, keep trying different microphones. Is there, is there more than one? Do you even have a microphone option when you click on that little arrow? There are only two options. Okay, so, I mean, I would just toggle between those and then try to say something. By the way, if it's working, that little mute microphone down on the in the left, it looks like that thing kind of fluctuates with my voice, kind of goes up and down. headphones or maybe I'll try maybe I'll try the speakers on mine let's see okay try to talk now can it you work huh yeah it's working yeah so what, you can hear me yeah what did you have to do um nothing I don't think <laughs> okay well it's probably what I did then because <laughs> I, I changed some of my speaker options so yeah, okay. all right, well, I guess we got that worked out. All right, what's up? You, ha you had a couple questions, I remember. From yeah, Dr. so with other did stuff. you read my email for? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, everything was just so crazy this weekend. I haven't had a chance to respond. Yeah. But I was hoping I'd be able to talk to you today about that. Plus you're kind of far ahead, so. Yeah. So what so your questions were about basically applications of the um you know basically the central limit theorem or something? Um so when I'm doing a couple of the problems, the the answers I'm coming out to are not matching the book by only a very little bit. Okay. But I think my process is correct. Okay. So. So for instance, do you have a, like a specific problem you wanna look at? Um, yeah, it was problem 23. I attached a photo of my work too, in case you needed to see it. So 23, okay, here, let me pull up the picture. Let me see. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open this with something so I can look at it easier. Oh man. Forget that, I'm gonna. Okay, so 23 is the one you're kind of thinking about? Yeah. 
So I worked it out using a normal approximation, um, using the As Laplace limit theorem. Yeah. But then I also worked it out exactly using a binomial. But then those both gave me different answers that were different <laughs> from what the book had. And how far off is it? What are um, you about here. So like the exact one came out to point nine two six five. Um, my approximation came out to point nine one eight five, whereas the book gave point nine two five three. So it's not off by much. Well, let's see here. Uh, one sixty six point six six is what you have as the mean, right? Yes. Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. Okay, so let me let's let's have a look at that. <clears throat> so one thousand independent rolls of a fair die will be made. Um, compute an approximation to the probability that the number six will appear between one hundred fifty and two hundred times. So obviously, the success here means that you roll a six, right? Yes. So what is the, uh, yeah, what is the, oh, I know what the problem is, I think, okay? So, all right, so first of all, the mean is one six times a thousand. That's where 166.66 comes from, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's just, that's just the number of trials times P, okay? And when you use the normal approximation to that, um, that is still going to be, well, we'll hold it. So, okay, we have to, you, all right. You have to write this as a sum of things, right? I mean, isn't that, that theorem is talking about a sum of things, yes? Isn't that right? I don't think so. Oh. over the square root of NPQ is that the number of successes, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna compute, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. So, so SN minus NP over the square root of NPQ, which you have, you have NPQ, right? Yeah. Did you do the square root of that? Um, yes. Okay. Well, but I guess I guess I would have applied this theorem differently. What you did is you you use the standard normal Right? Are you not supposed to use that? Because well, but you can you use the standard normal to compute the probability. But I think I think that so S N minus that over that. I'm just wondering what our A and our B should actually equal here. So you want it to be between 150 and 250? Is that what that says? Yeah. So, like, if you look at example 4G. Yeah. 
they kind of do it um, similar to what I did, where like you start with a random variable, but then you sort of convert it to the unit normal. Um, okay, and so they just assume, right, so they assume the random variable in the middle is standard normal. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, that seems like it's, it should be accurate. I mean, the only thing I could think of is that your, your Z values might be off just slightly. Does that make sense? So like, so here, let me, uh, let me do something here. Um, can you, here, let me share my screen. Oh, wait. Select a window that you want to share. Um, let's do this one. Wait. So, can you see my mouse moving around right now? Yeah. Okay, all right. So, if I go, if I go into Excel, Okay. Do you have Excel on your machine, by the way? Um, yeah, I've been using it to compute a oh, lot. Oh, you of have things. been? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just I'm just wondering if these numbers are off just slightly. So 150. So hang on. So this equals 150 minus. So was it 1,000 over over six or something? That's what the for the mean? That's what the mean was, right? Yeah. Divided by the square root of 1,000 times, uh, 1,000 times five over 36 or something, right? Because that's one six times five sixths, yeah? Yeah. And I get negative so what did you get? I got um, I got negative one point four one four two one. Yeah. So I approximated that as negative one point four one four. Uh huh. So this other one. So equals was it two hundred minus a thousand? Oops. Over six divided by what is it? uh square root of 1000 times 5 over 36 you get that right um i got 2.828 i can't see your screen i can only see the can you see one window excel? can you see me working in excel or no no okay here let me see So stop, stop, share. Okay, let me see, share screen. Now do you see it? Yes. See it now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I got. So. Okay, so then what you can do in here, Matthew, is you can go equals, uh, so that, so it's the, they want you to use the standard normal, right? So you go normal. Yeah. So this normal s dist. Do you see that normal s dist? Yeah. That's the normal standard. And you can put that in there. Minus normal standard distribution. This. What? Oh, cumulative. Yes. Sorry, they wanted me to say that it was cumulative. I got 0 0.919. <laughs> yeah, I think that's slightly more accurate than what I got, but it's still off. Was that what was the book's answer? Point nine two five three. 
0.9253. Well, I'm, I'm going to make a guess that that's because they rounded these to two decimal places. Okay. Um, so let's see. Normal standard distribution. Let's try that. So that would be 2.83, right? Yeah. Normal standard distribution. Let's try negative 1.41. Cumulative, yes. Oh man, that's even worse. That negative 1.414. Maybe if I do 414, and I don't know, I mean, who knows, right? Two, two, two 2.828 or something. I don't know, man. This is a, <laughs> it's not off by that much, I guess. Right? Yeah. Um, I was oh. wondering if it had anything to do with the continuity correction at the top of page. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It probably does. So what do we have to be careful of? Are you talking about like at the top of page? 195. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to go up. I mean, I think what we need to do is we need to go up and down by half a unit or something. Does that make sense? So let's see here. Let me delete this. Can you still see my screen? Yeah. So that's because like when you do the histograms, I mean, we'll talk about this eventually, but when you do the histograms, you end up, uh, and it becomes like this continuous curve, you end up having to go down by half a unit on the left and up by half a unit on the right. So instead of 150, what would you put here? 149.5. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's looking better. And what about the 200? What would you do? Um, 200.5. There you go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so it happens when you have to start approximating things, but that that is important. We'll talk about that. Okay. What do you think? That probably might explain several of your yeah views. Don't you think? Yeah, that's because it was quite a few problems that were. Just off by um, a bit. I think. <laughs> Were there any, I mean, so, yeah, I'm sure that that's probably what the issue is. Okay. Did you have other questions? Um, Um, no, not at the moment. Okay. So. Did the videos work all right for you? Um, yeah. They did? <laughs> it's good. It's a little bit, it's a little bit weird talking to my own self, but hopefully those worked out all right for you. Yeah, they were good. Okay. That's good. Could you hear everything or? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stuff made sense though? I mean, um, it did to me, but I'd already read through the textbook, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right, well, good. Anything else? Um, no, not right yeah. now. Yeah, if you come in, uh, I'll also be in here during class hours if, if you happen to have any questions or anything. Okay. But, yeah, all right. Okay, thank you.
Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.